everyone. I had the best dream last night. I'm so excited. Do you want to hear about it? Sure, dreams are fun. And sometimes they can be pretty crazy. Does your dream have something to do with that crown on your head? Yes, it does. I had a gorgeous crown on my head with lots of dazzling diamonds, and I was wearing a beautiful red robe with white fur along the edges. Anyone that came to see me had to bow down and call me your majesty. I got to tell everyone what to do. And because I was a queen, they had to listen to me. It was wonderful. Hmm. Well, that would be pretty neat. And that's not even the best part. Yesterday, when I went to Burger King with my parents, I wanted to order a special burger, and the staff said that I could have it my way. So my dream must be coming true. Well, I don't think... Jesus loves me cause I'm cool. I am great, so bow, you fool. Wait a minute, Grace. Dreams can be fun and all, but they don't always come true. Oh, I think you're wrong, Charity. I'm going to be a powerful queen. So you'd better listen to me cause I'm pretty important, you know. Well, yes, you are important. But no more than anyone else. God doesn't want you to do things your way or think that life is just all about you. He has dreams for me and for you. You just have to learn to follow the path that Jesus has for your life. You mean I can't tell my friends what to do? Well, you can try, but I don't think they'll like it very much. And I think that you would... It would be a good way for you to lose all your friends. But what about my dreams? God doesn't want us to stop dreaming. But sometimes what sounds like a good plan to us is not what God wants for our lives. Only God has the big picture and where our lives will go. But how will I know? I think we need to pray about it. Keep asking God to show you the way your life is supposed to go. If you listen and think of others instead of yourself, you'll see what wonderful plans God has in store for you. He has a special journey planned for each and every one of us. Okay, Charity. But first, I think I need to go home and have a nap. Maybe God will give me a hint of what I'm supposed to do in my next dream. Those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose themselves for Christ's sake and for the gospel will be saved. We are invited to give all that we have and all that we are to the realization of God's will among us, a portion of what we bring today as our offering. 